Hey YouTube, uh, this is a video on repairing your HVAC. Um, basically, my HVAC stopped working, and um, I thought it was because um, the air conditioner wasn't working, so I thought it was this capacitor. Um, I know it looks pretty crappy, uh, but it's it's always outside, so that's why this capacitor actually still works. Um, you'll see a bunch of videos on YouTube about it. Sometimes it's like um, if you have any oil leaking or if it's bulging on the top, not not at this edge, but like on the very top down in here, it like bulges up. Then it's usually bad. Um, this one's actually good, so I got to put it back in. Wasted my time taking it out. So, point is, AC stopped working. Um, I was gonna try and go through some troubleshooting stuff. What this is is a transformer. And basically, if you take off your panel, which you'll see in a minute, um, at your furnace, my AC stopped working, and I noticed the fan wasn't working. Not the one outside, uh, but the one in the basement to, like, blow the air through the house. And um, so I took the panel off. First, I messed with the stupid air conditioner because this has gone bad before. The uh, capacitor, that's what this is. Um, but it wasn't that issue, and I started thinking about it. I was like, well, wait a minute. I should have tried the heat first and see if, and or see if the fan will come on. Tried the heat also. You got to turn the thermostat up past whatever the room temperature is by at least 10 degrees. Fan still didn't kick on. Okay, now we got a problem. It had nothing to do with the AC. So I'm, um, you know, guessing. <clears throat> um, not saying there's nothing wrong with the the AC, but there's definitely something wrong with uh, the furnace itself. So basically, this is a uh, transformer on the back of the panel of your uh, where you pull it apart, you'll see information and go down the list to check these things. I used a multimeter, uh, found out that this was bad. This is like power coming in, so it was always hot. Your neutral, these other two wires, by the way, I'm not an HVAC guy or electrician or anything like that. Um, just watching some videos and doing some research myself, I figured it out. So again, uh, transformer, it, it led me to that. And, um, Basically, what I did was I, I pulled the whole unit out, and it had these wires connected to it. And, um, you know, they had these little red connectors, so on, um, to all the ends. They're much longer. I cut them off, and what I've done is spliced them to this new one that I just picked up. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the exact same one. It's the day before 4th of July, um, so I had to suck it up with, with this one. It had extra two wires, so what I've had to do is splice them together, the white to the white. Um, basically, it came with this little diagram, and it explained it to me. I had four extra wires, whatever. So if I need 120 volt for my primary, um, so I used the black and white wire, so I just connected them to the black and white wires on here. And I needed 24 volt for the secondary, because if you look at this capacitor, See how it shows to 120 for the primary, secondary is 24 volt. So I just had to look, okay, blue and green wire. So I detached my blue and green wire um, to what I knew on this one was the red and yellow wire. And that's what I've done. So now I've got the blue and yellow and, uh, where is it, red and green. I haven't tried to hook it up yet, but I'm expecting it's going to work. Um, so long story short, this was the problem. And uh, we're going to go downstairs and, and connect it back up. And uh, But I just wanted to give you a you know, closer view of, of this sort of thing. Uh, bear with me now. We're going to walk downstairs. And I'll keep talking as we do this. Um, so, show up the idea. into the basement almost at the furnace you will see that I have it all taken apart and here's what we're looking at I'm gonna turn my flashlight on so we can get a better look so now you see what I'm looking at uh, mine happens to be a ream um, as you can see right there and this is the panel that I was telling you about right here. Just screws on with those two screws there. I turn it around. You'll see a diagram. And basically I started at the top. Uh, does it start? If it's no, 
you go over is a power LED on. Power LED, see that green and amber light? Neither one of those came on, which told me that, you know, we had an issue. So again, I'm trying to focus in. So if that's an issue, check the 24 volt, uh, can't see it through here, IFC, and then check a fuse, blah, blah, blah. And then you see the one that says transformer and breaker. So I checked my breaker, I checked the fuse, um, my fuse. Some fuses are right on here and it looks like a car fuse, like a 30 amp little fuse. Mine wasn't on here. Um, this is the IFC and you can see these two fuses right here. Uh, one of them is a spare and one of them is okay. That blinking light doesn't mean anything. Those other two red lights I'm assuming are on because of this whole issue. So right now that's on, so we don't want to touch anything. So we're going to shut it off, get the power off before we mess around. You can see my little multimeter here. I also use this to, to check for um, wiring uh, any power. So you can see if there's any power. I'll turn it back on. With it back on, we're getting no power either yet, provided this tester is working, which I did test it earlier. So, what we gotta do is find something that we know okay, has power. So we know that this tester is working. Don't ever just trust your battery could die at any time. So we still get no power, um, and that's because the capacitor is not plugged in. So shut the power back off, and um, <clears throat> now we're gonna try and set this back up again. Um, mine went up inside here. I don't know if this is gonna mount back to this easily. So for now, just gonna rest it there for a second. And sorry, bear with me. We got all these wires here. And we gotta make sure they plug onto the right connections. Okay. So if my memory suits me well. That black one right there, there was a black one right below it. And yeah, that's where that's gonna go. And there was a white one right there. Can you see my finger? There it is. <laughs> there was a white one right there. So we're going to put a white one back on there. And then there was orange and red. Or yellow and red, sorry. And I am pretty sure... The yellow one on top. I'm looking to see if there was a a marker that would tell me any different than the red one on the bottom. So 